Continue reading the Holy Gospel according to St. John, with explanation by Blessed Philip. Chapter 8, verses 53 through 55, 56 through 55. Continue reading explanation. Glory to your Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Because the Jews did not understand what the Lord meant when he said that death would not have diminution over those who believed in him, they replied foolishly and illogically, Art thou greater than our father Abraham? Instead, they might have asked, Art thou greater than God? Those who kept the word of God have, to, have died. Do you claim that those who kept your word will not die? But they say, Art thou greater than our father Abraham? Because they want to make Christ inferior to the patriarch. Nevertheless, the Lord does not specify what sort of death he is speaking about. That he is greater than Abraham, he will establish momentarily. The Jews question, Who makest thou of thyself? His intent is indeed as an insult. Who do you think you are, a carpenter's son, a Galilean? Heedless of his work of scripture and of truth, they taught him. All you want is glory and celebrity. The Lord replies, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. Exactly as you say, However, it is my Father who glorifies me. The Father indeed glorifies Christ in all things, by the prophecies concerning him, by the testimony from heaven, and by numberless miracles. This is the Father of whom you say that he is your God. But you know him neither as my Father nor as your God. If you had known him as my father, you would have honored his son. Since you do not honor his son, it is clear that you do not recognize him as my father, nor do you recognize him as your God, for if you did, you would fear his words. In fact, such is your contempt for God that you ignore, him, that you ignore his commandment. Thou shalt not kill and you plot to kill me, though you lack any evidence on which to convict me of sin. Clearly you do not know the Father at all, but I know him by my very nature, and I possess all his knowledge, for I am what the Father is. I know myself, so I know him also. If I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. When you boast that you know him, you are lying. I know him, and if I say that I do not, I would be denying the truth. What evidence does Christ give that he knows the Father? That I keep his word, meaning his Father's commandments. I do not oppose him. I do not boast of being his adversary. I do not transgress his commandments. But you transgress his commandments. You are full of weak desires, first for murder and plot to do many other things forbidden by the law. <coughs> Thus it is clear you do not know the Father. If you did, you would keep his word, which means you would keep his commandments. Some have interpreted, I keep his word, to mean I know him because I preserve unaltered in myself the word, that is the expression. Of his essence. I have very same expression of the divine nature that the Father has. The Father and the Son share the same nature. And the same expression of their essence. Therefore his words, I know him and I keep his word, mean I know him for I keep and alter his expression of his essence. In scriptures is often used to in scriptures and is often used to mean for. For example, give us help from affliction and vain in the salvation of man. And vain is the salvation of man. Here the real sense is give us help from affliction, for vain is the salvation of man. So also this statement, I know him and I keep his word means I know him for I keep his word. Glory to Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.